Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. As I'm recording this afternoon, the snow has begun, and quite a forecast as uh, they're expecting quite a bit of snow. We'll see how much we get. But it sure is a pretty winter wonderland out there. Well, if you've been following along each week, you know that I have one candle left in my series. So far this Advent season, we have reflected on the themes of hope, peace, and love that come as we remember and, and look forward to the coming of the birth of Jesus. Today, we add that final candle of joy. Isaac Watts captures the essence of that joy in that wonderful carol, Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. And certainly we remember the joyous words we find in Luke's, Luke's account of Jesus' birth as the angels appear to the shepherds with some joyous news. We read, beginning at verse 8, In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Yes, my friends, when we focus on the story, our hearts can easily proclaim joy to the world. Christ's birth is a culmination of years of waiting Sometimes for us, it may be merely a season of anticipation. But in that moment, when Jesus was born, it was the fulfillment of prophecies. It was hope that was renewed. The shepherd's joy couldn't be contained as they shared the story, and folks were amazed by what they heard. Heaven couldn't be contained as a multitude of heavenly hosts praised God at this news of great joy. And Mary's heart was filled with joy as she treasured these words and pondered them in her heart. In 2020, joy sometimes has seemed elusive. But this week, joy and hope filled my heart once again. It was with great joy as I saw the vaccine distributed and the first shots given in America. It was with great joy as I watched the nightly news and saw the resilient spirit of Americans as people stepped up to donate to food and toy drives across um, our country. It was with great joy as I saw Ray and Deb work with countless musicians to prepare for us a festival of music for Sunday, December 27th. You know, it's one example of how Wesley has adapted in this challenging year. It was with great joy as I read each Christmas card to know that God's love still prevails. It still gives us hope, even as we finish out a challenging year. So, my friends, as we light all four candles this Sunday, let's focus on God. And as we do so, you and I will find hope, peace, love, and joy.
as we once again look forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus just a few days away. May our hearts be filled with joy at the greatest gift ever given to each of us in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. My friends, I have quite a few things to share with you about Wesley Church and upcoming events. As you know, we've had to adjust uh, our plans for Christmas Eve since we are not since we suspended our in-person services. We will be live streaming just one Christmas Eve service at 7 p.m. But I want to suggest that for those that are watching with us, that each member of the family would have a candle so that when we get to the candle lighting part of our service, that you can join in with us as we sing Silent Night. The service will be both on Facebook and YouTube. And I personally, I personally want to invite you to our December 27th Sunday morning worship service for our Wesley Christmas Festival of Music. We're going to celebrate the birth of Christ through the ministry of music as our Wesley family shares their talents and leads us in a joyous time of celebration and worship. You do not want to miss the special service Sunday, December 27th at 9 a.m. Wesley has committed to filling the mobile mission van in cooperation with Do Over Ministries. We are collecting coats, sleeping bags, thermal underwear, flashlights, batteries, hats, gloves, and backpacks that will be distributed on January 1st, 2021. These items can be brought to the church during office hours, and those office hours next week will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 9 till 2, or on Sunday morning. You can see the bulletin for further details. The January-February issue, uh, issue of the Upper Room is available in the church lobby. Please stop by during uh, regular office hours and pick up your copy. And as always, we continue to live stream our worship service every Sunday at 9 o'clock on both Facebook and YouTube. Well, let's close this time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let all their songs employ, while fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy. May our hearts and voices and lives resound with joy as we approach Christmas Day, knowing that our Savior is born. May we join the heavenly host in praising God for this news of great joy. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, it is always, always a great joy to visit with you. We'll talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe. God bless.